These little handheld radios sure are handy, but they are a little limited in the amount of power that you have. The signal strength getting out there isn't all that it's cracked up to be. However, a new product being introduced by BTEC offers these little handheld radios a great boost. The folks at BTEC first approached me several years ago to test out some of their little radios. I became excited at the prospect of the very affordable, very effective communication tool that's now come out on the market. These little handheld radios offer a great godsend for those folks who need to get out and get some range in their communications. And they offer a lot of bang for their buck. However, there are limitations. Primarily the power output of these little handheld radios are limited. You can only go out so far. However, VTAC contacted me recently to try out a new device that helps boost the power range of these radios. It's a power amplifier, particularly for low power handheld radios. Until now, you've been limited with either a handheld radio or a mobile rig. Now, VTEC's introducing the AMP25. Can give you up to 30 to 40 watts output power by using a handheld radio. And we're gonna hook one up, get it set up, take it through its paces. The BTEC Amp 25 amplifiers are portable, lightweight, wide coverage RF power amplifiers for handheld radio equipment and are equally capable of amplifying both analog and digital signals. There are four models, two which operate at VHF, that's 136 to 174 megahertz, and two that operate at UHF 400 and 480 megahertz ranges. BTEC Amp 25 series is designed to work with any Bofang or BTEC handheld transceivers but it'll also work with any handheld radio that outputs 2 watts to 6 watts with appropriate cable. With the included radio to amplifier RF cable, the amplifier will also work with Waxon transceivers, some TYT transceivers, and some Kenwood transceivers. If the supplied cables do not connect to your radio, you'll need to use adapters or build cables with appropriate connectors. It needs to be noted that the BTEC Amp 25 Amp does not come with an antenna. It's very important to not transmit without an antenna or dummy load connected to the antenna connector at the rear panel of the amp. If you do that, you're going to end up burning it up. For example, the amplifier we're testing out today is for the 70 centimeter, the 440 megahertz band. The antenna we're using is a dual band 2 meter 440 J-pole antenna that I have set up in the yard. Power specifications require a 13.8 volts DC, plus or minus 15%, with a 5.5 amp maximum current flow. In my case, I'm using a 25 amp Mighty Might by MFJ. It is plenty of power for the little amplifier. RF input power will be anywhere from 2 to 6 watts, with an output power correspondingly 20 to 40 watts. KI4 HEE test 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 test. Welcome to the W4GSUHS receiver. The good folks at BTEC sent me this AMP25 to test, evaluate, and review. And I'm proud to say that it will be a welcome addition in my ham shack. That, along with all my other little handhelds and my mobile rigs that I've got in my cars and my trucks. I've got the UHF and VHF capability down pat. Reporting for APN Product Report, this is KI4HEE, otherwise known as Bob Hawkins. KI4HEE CQCQ.